very briefly, uh, what, what uh, the, one of the questions that I want to address, just a single one, is, is what are the prospects for uh, uh, united action on the left here in, in the matter of Iran? Well, I, 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 I don't know what are the real prospects, but I, I think I do know what principles they, uh, any such uh, action should be uh, uh, founded on. And that is, uh, and I think this, this was the Hopi line all along, and I think it has been vindicated by events. And that is that one should, of course, condemn the threats against Iran by uh, the United States and Israel. Uh, but at the same time, one should not mute one's uh, criticism and, and opposition to the theocracy of Iran. And that means uh, not supporting the uh, Mosavi faction of the, of the theocracy, but the masses of Iran. We are on the side of the Iranian working class. We are on the side, and, and never forget this. It's not just the, 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 uh, 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 the social economic thing, you know, and that uh, uh, in, in the matter of direct class struggle, but it's also uh, uh, freedom for, for the women of Iran. But, uh, you know, half of the population or more is, is, is very severely repressed. And, and so on, other, other social repressions. It should, it, should, uh, it should be possible to solidarize, and in fact necessary, to solidarize with the uh, uh, Iranian uh, masses while defending them against the theocratic regime. It's not, a, it's not a good enough to say, you know, the main, the main enemy is, the, is American imperialism, therefore we should support the, the, the anti-imperialist rhetoric, or we should, we should stay quiet about the iniquities of the Iranian regime. I think this is, this is, this is the, the principle on which uh, any United Action should, should be founded. And, and anyone who, for example, I mean, supports uh, uh, Ahmadinejad is obviously, you know, uh, not not a, not a possible ally for uh, uh, this kind of united action. But even those who actually idolize Mosawi uh, 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 is not is not really supporting the the, the uh, independent interests of the masses. Yes, last one, a couple of questions because there were specific questions, then I'll sum up. Yep, that's fine. Okay. On the attack on Zahran Arab, Rahnabad, I think it was more than that. Musabi, Rezai, and uh, 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 to a certain, to much wider extent, Karubi uh, made very strong statements about women's rights. Ahmadinejad didn't, and so it is obvious. It was obvious that women who voted did not vote for Ahmadinejad. His rule especially for working class women, has been the return of the family laws of um, almost a century ago in terms of legitimizing four wives for one man, uh, legitimizing it. There, there were much m m harsher conditions before that. Um, and I think the insult looked bad, especially because he kept showing the photograph of this woman. But I don't think, I mean, uh, I don't think Zahra Nahnavad is that popular either, to be honest. In my opinion, she's not. It's the fact that Musavi published a charter for women, Karubi named a woman's minister, and Rezai published what he would do for women. Uh, that gave them the women's votes. And that's why it's very surprising. Again, 50, a very large percentage of women participated in the election. So um, Stuart is right. When people are saying, where is my vote? In fact, they're addressing Musabi. They're saying, Musabi, you stole our votes. That was the slogan first in the demonstration. And I challenge the idea that it was the middle classes who started it. The middle classes are very scared. They wait until the crowd is in the street, and then they go. On Sunday, it was quite clear that before the streets of South Tehran got populated with demonstrators, no one was coming out of their cars in North Tehran, where they were using the horns of the cars. It's only when they saw the people in the street. Obama, I think, ideally wants to deal with Khamenei. Uh, he's very clear about this. He, in fact, he said it, that the power in Iran does not lie with the president. 
I think, in my opinion, that if I was him, if I was advising him, I would say, what is the point of negotiating with whoever becomes president? They did negotiate a lot with Khatami, and the Council of Experts just threw them out of the window. The Supreme Leader would have done it had the Council of Experts not done it. So I think in the, in the uh, in the U.S. there is that opinion. On the other hand, they obviously don't like Ahmadinejad as an individual. But now that for the first time in the history of Iran, the leader has come out and said he is closer to me than anybody else amongst the factions of the regime, that does change the momentum. And I think people also should consider that the next four years, and that's what people in Iran are thinking, if Ahmadinejad is returned to power, with this vote of confidence that Khamenei gave him yesterday, the next four years will be very different from the previous ones. Because the previous ones, he was living with the Karubi comments that he cheated in the second round or cheated in the first round. He wasn't very popular. People were saying he's um, uh, not very clever. The PhDs of his cabinet were coming out of uh, internet sites and so on. This time, he will, he's even less popular, and he's aware of it after these days. So he must be more repressive, or he won't survive. That is what people are talking about in Iran, at least. I think economy was the main issue, as far as a lot of people in the election were concerned. Ahmadinejad has printed huge sums of money. That's how he's paid for doubling pension of the Basijis. And these are his bulk supporters. But I think people do realize that this has also created huge inflation. One of the big debates was between Rezai, Pastar guy, and Ahmadinejad on the issue of inflation. And Ahmadinejad was trying to say that there is a derivative of inflation that has actually come down. And then he went on to say, in Europe, inflation is getting far worse because of repression. So obviously, he doesn't read the papers very well either. But the other guy, Rezai, was very astute in this. He said, well, I'll tell you, bread costs 